Lastly, keep the preserved food in a cool and dry place where it will not be disturbed. Add label indicating expiration date and the date it was made. So those are the things that we have to keep in mind in order to plan or planning a preserved food project. Now let us discuss the different ways of preserving food. First, we have drying. Drying is the easiest and the most common method. This is done by exposing the food under the heat of the sun to eliminate its water content. Here are some examples under drying. Next, we have salting. Salting is the application of salt to the food to be preserved. Another way of preserving food is freezing. Freezing is a quick and convenient way to preserve food such as meat, poultry, and fish which are stored in the freezer until they are to be consumed. Next, we have refrigeration. Refrigeration where food is kept at low temperature to prolong their freshness. Then, another way of preserving food is through smoking. Smoking. This is a method in which food items such as cured meat or fish is exposed to smoke not only to preserve them but also to add flavor and color. Next, we have pickling. Adding pickling solution vinegar, salt, and sugar to vegetables like grated green papaya, ginger, carrots, onion, and bell pepper. Another way of preserving food is curing. This method is done by soaking or injecting meat with preservatives like sugar, salt, and vinegar solution. Next, we have canning. This is a method in which processed food is placed and sealed in airtight cans. Another way of preserving fruits is through fermentation. This is achieved by soaking or saturating the food in adequate amount of salt to prevent it from spoiling and would even have a better taste. Fermented food can be used as sauce seasoning or viand. And what are the different ways of preserving fruits? First, we have sugar preservation, like for example, jam, wherein the fruit is mashed and cooked with sugar. Another one is jelly, wherein clear fruit juice cooked with sugar, which gelatinizes in cooking. Then we have sterilization. This process involves using heat, to kill microorganisms and bacteria. After sterilization, the food item must be stored properly to have shelf life of up to several years. Now let us have a review. What are the different ways of preserving fruits? Can you name some? Very good. We have drying, salting, freezing, refrigeration, smoking, pickling, curing, canning, fermentation, sterilization, and sugar preservation. So those are the different ways of preserving fruits. Now after discussing the different ways of food preservation, let us proceed to the benefits of food preservation. Food preservation is important for the following reasons. Number one, it contributes to better nutrition for the family by preventing scarcity of food. Balanced meals may be attained only if there is a year-round supply of fruits and vegetables. Second, it is a means of increasing the family income. When harvest is abundant and the food supply is more than enough for the family, the excess products can be preserved and sold in the market. Another benefit of food preservation, it helps in the economic development of the country since the excess foods can be preserved 
and sold in the market. Then, foods are made available throughout the year. They may be preserved in the preparation for the coming event like the town fiesta, Christmas, and other special occasions. Another benefit of food preservation is food preservation makes food or harvest available in places where they are not prepared or grown. And lastly, it is profitable as a hobby as well as means of livelihood. Since we already discussed our lesson for today, let us try this one. The title of our activity is Choose Me. So you are going to choose the letter of the correct answer. So before that, everybody, get your ball pen and paper. I will give you 10 seconds for every number to choose the best answer. Are you ready? Let us begin. Question number one. Sardines, tuna, and corned beef are examples of which type of food preservation? Letter A, canning. Letter B, drying. Letter C, curing. Or letter D, smoking. Okay, time's up. What is your answer? Very good. Letter A, cunning. Now, for question number two. Choose me. It is a type of food preservation technique where meat, fish, eggs, and vegetables are kept in a cooler or refrigerator where the low temperature can maintain the freshness for days. Letter A, cunning. B, drying. C. Freezing B. Smoking Begin Time's up The correct answer is letter C. Freezing Now let us have our question number 3 It is a process where food is exposed near the fire and smoke until it is cooked Letter A, canning. Letter B, drying. Letter C, freezing. Or letter D, smoking. Okay, time's up. What is your answer? Very good. The answer is letter D, smoking. Now for our question number four. Choose me. Preserving food is usually boiled or sterilized in the bottle to kill off microorganisms. A. Drying B. Smoking C. Fermentation or D. Sterilization Okay, what is your answer? The answer is Letter D, sterilization. Very good. For our last number, choose me. It is achieved by soaking or saturating the food in adequate amount of salt to prevent it from spoiling and would even have a better taste. Letter A, drying. Letter B, freezing. Letter C, smoking. Letter D, fermentation. Time's up. What is your answer? Very good. Letter D. Fermentation. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you learned a lot from me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell on my YouTube channel. Until next time, goodbye. See ya.